Hey nerds, what's up, y'all? Yo. Yo, what is up? Hey. Season's greetings. Happy Saturday. <laughs> season's Saturday. greetings. Uh every day is part of a season, therefore season's greetings. Fair enough. All right. Am I wrong? Right. Thank you. No, but I'm like, <laughs> you just threw me off. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it's gonna be interesting four weeks. We ain't even did nothing yep. yet. Level up fam, you know the name's Mecca with his pristine spit. 8 bit process up 16 bit cartridge to this. We gon' get these chips until we filthy rich. Hi, welcome to my channel. Happy Black History Month. Uh, my name is Tanya Cypher Tier. All of the homies are here. We're gonna play some D&D. And what we're gonna do today though, is what's called a session zero. We're gonna run through everyone's character choices. Uh, in some cases, we're gonna level up so you can see how that works. And then we're gonna actually take questions from you uh, for a change and because the next four or three weeks we'll be playing. So it's gonna be harder to have any interaction with the chat. Sit back, relax, say hi, be chill. Technique. Who are you? What do you do? Why are you here? Hello, my name is Technique, aka Frank. If you call me by that name, I do a good bit on Twitch. I host, um, I do RP, obviously, and um, we stream lots of RP, RPGs of all sorts and story-based games. Um, I'm really into uplifting those around me who are just as confident and and hopeful and want to do something with their lives here that's a big thing for me and um other than that been streaming on twitch for seven and i'm about to be seven and a half years been here for a long time and it's a pleasure being here and i'm, I'm just tickled to, to do another another campaign with these lovely people to start for the first time with them but just doing another campaign in general and i love dnd a little too much i'm a fledgling i've been i just i'm three years old in dnd but uh, I'm a lore hog. I've read tons of books and um, just just absolutely love being able to escape um, reality sometimes and be placed in another world and put all my put all my love into a character. But it's a pleasure being here. Thanks for having me, Miss Tanya. Raheem, aka Megaran. Hello, everybody. Um, Raheem, aka Megaran, um, musician, rapper, DJ, video game guy. Uh, composer and um good streamer pretty new i started really getting consistent last year um maybe around this time and um i'm happy to be here my dnd knowledge is at like negative <laughs> but i was um i don't know if anybody's old enough to remember the the satanic panic of like the early days of uh of, of nerddom where everybody was like oh dnd is definitely the devil bro <laughs> you, know? you and i are the same age so, so you you remember then? You remember oh, yeah. there was a there was a big thing going on then that people were like, "Oh my god, this is so satanic and demonic." So my mom was like, "You don't go anywhere near that." So uh, I'm really happy to be a part of this and uh, get my feet wet with some uh, with some pros and and good people. So let's go. My name is Omega Jones, also known as the Critical Bard. Uh, Critical Bard across all social media channels. Uh, I am an actor, professional equity card holding actor, vocalist, performer. Um, that was my first uh, and most important love, honestly. Twitch came later because, you know, um, theater shut down because of, you know, Miss Covenisha outside and I'm over it. Uh, but I'm glad it happened because now I've met amazing individuals here. Uh, I've been streaming for almost a year now. My one year being April. Whoop, whoop. Um, and yeah, I am a host. I'm a moderator of different uh, panels. Um, I like to make trouble wherever I go. Uh, I love d and I've been playing d and for been at least five, six years, I think now. Didn't know I could fall in love with the game as much as I have with d and um, I love the creation aspect of it, being able to play truly whatever you want uh, within the, you know, the lines of the mechanics. Uh, but you can still make whatever you want, how you want to make them. I am very excited to be playing with all these wonderful black folk. Uh, it's not often where you can play with a melanin proficient table. Shout out to Astro and d d for helping us do this. And thank you so much, Tanya, for asking me to be a part of this. Let's do it. You're welcome. Uh, zombie. Hi everybody, um, I'm Zombie Kills. I am a makeup artist and streamer here on Twitch. Uh, I'm recently partnered here on the platform. I've been streaming for about eight months. Um, I'm really into playing survival games and multiplayer games. 
I like games like Ark, Survival Involved. I have 7,000 hours plus in that game. <laughs> I uh, play Seven Days to Die and all kinds of crazy shenanigans. Um, I really focus heavily on building radically kind communities in the gaming space. And that's something that I feel like is super important. That's kind of where I've been focused on this year. And I'm really excited to play D&D because I'm a D&D noob. <laughs> I have literally a one campaign partially under my belt. So this is the first time I've really done anything to do with it that is like super in depth. Um, so I'm really excited to play with a whole bunch of brown people uh, so that we can play video, video games together, play board games together. So I'm excited to see what this uh, is and to be playing with people who know so much about it. I am your DM and host, uh, Tanya Cypertier. I feel like I should be in a rocking chair because I've been playing D&D since Redbox, first edition. I lived through the satanic panic, um, had to hide that I was playing D&D from uh, my mom. Fell off of D&D real hard uh, after a long running campaign I was in ended because there was no melanin in my source books. And also I didn't want to travel like three hours to go play a game with people that might try to be like, well, you're black, so you got to be a drow. No, thank you. Now I'm professional D&D player and GM, and uh, you can see me mainly on Rivals Waterdeep. I DM last season. We just started our ninth season over on our own channel, Rivals Waterdeep, and I've been playing a human paladin, Lisa Storio. To start off, I kind of want to get further into everybody's character choices before we switch over to showing your sheet. And I'm going to start with Raheem when we get there. Um, but I want to know, A, at least for this campaign without kind of knowing what I plan to throw you into, what was your thought process as you made your characters? So Raheem, what, what you got, what you okay. got? Okay, so I made an orc uh, just based on what I, the little bit of uh, World of Warcraft I played. I really always used orcs and I liked the, the idea of like strength. And then the picture I saw of the dude, it looked like he kind of had some locks. I don't know if you can see the picture, but like, we'll see in a, a minute. Weird, it's got looks like some like it looks like some blocks. So I was like, okay, right, since I you like since you're talking about it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch over so we can see your character sheet. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do okay, it. you know, orcs attack with two hands, so I'm like, yeah, get that get that extra strength, that extra grip. Two hands, I liked. Also, I added this cool like feature of a false identity. Okay, which is like you know the idea that you can like forge documents or make people think you're somebody else and uh, it slide through life. And you know, it's like a little bit of a, uh, I mean, I guess when I, I think about when I was young and I used to write stories and how I always thought about the, the spy being able to slip through yep. and you know, but being like a big black guy, I can't always slip through. <laughs> so <laughs> if I could forge some documents, <laughs> <laughs> create a second identity. I thought that was super cool. So like being able to be like a super sleuth uh, who also has dreadlocks, um, I was into it. <laughs> nice. So uh, since you brought it up, I switched over to show your character sheet. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna talk about you in this intelligence though, because yeah. your lowest stats only <laughs> supposed to be an eight. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? You you can't have a 22 dexterity, sir. You are Why not. <laughs> I'm using two hands. Why not? This is where we have our important learning lesson in the session zero. <laughs> you, are, you are level eight. I'm a paladin in my game and I have played a bunch of characters. That is like God tier. Yeah. I oh. smite everything. No, we, we got to fix this. Oh my god. I, really, I, I, I just with thought two with, hand with a double hand, you know, advantage. You don't get two per, no. It's not 11 <laughs> per hand. Jeez. I got some big hands. I, I'm just saying, like. I know. All right. Okay. I know you got big hands. You are level eight. <laughs> okay. So I like that okay. this is a nerfing conversation. You're like, the right. grapple must nerf off the break. Right off the break. Like, well, he right right had me in the beginning because He's an orc, which are not favored among the goodly folk, but he forges documents. So the story is there, right? Like the story's right. there. Okay, yeah. so he's also insanely strong. For no, yeah, no, we don't he's need not... that kind of orc, man. He, he, he... <laughs> Wait, does he have reckless? Wait, are you a warrior? Wait, what are you? 
hold on. <laughs> so he was raging, we all did. <laughs> so hold on. We're gonna walk through oh. your character, sir, because I'm gonna talk about your ass right oh, now. God. Okay. And it's my channel. We ain't gotta be PG thirteen. Oh, <laughs> so we are learning. We are learning. We're learning. You're the you're those. the example today. <laughs> I'm like, do you know a level four means you don't even know how to open a door? Like you ain't, you can't do shit. Like you, it's a good day if you got dressed. Uh, <laughs> I should have looked at this before we went live. Good God, sir! <laughs> so he came from the Black Arrow Clan. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> oh shit! Um, so what I'm doing, and because I'm the DM, I can actually go in and make edits as well. Um, so this is uh, Mega Ran's sheet. So you also need to pick your archetype of rogue. So are you an, a trickster? Are you an assassin? Because if you were an assassin, a 22, if you were level 20, we might rock with that. No. Okay. Are you an orc rogue? An orc rogue. I don't want to know. Are you inquisitive? Are you are you like the cat that is in everything? Are you like the mastermind? Are you a phantom? I don't know what a soul knife does. I'm kind of afraid. Second <laughs> blades. Okay. Wow. So I'm like, I right, look, exactly. I'm old school. I'm like soul knife. Jesus. <laughs> are you a pirate or are you a thief? So what kind of rogue are you? So I feel like I was in an attempt to be like well-rounded. I may have made some, uh, some judgment <laughs> errors here, but um, <laughs> this man said well-rounded with a 22 index and a four in intelligence. <laughs> That's like you are sitting in a chair looking at the wall and you do good if you can say it's blue. <laughs> I may not know, but I can hit it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so so what are we picking? Okay, what kind so of I feel like we gotta we gotta balance this out a little bit. I need to obviously be able to complete some basic We got we're gonna get there. Right now we need to we need to figure out what kind of arc what kind of an assassin are you? Okay. I like the idea of a phantom. I thought that was cool. Okay. So now that we picked Phantom, this is now updated. You get Whispers of the Dead. Um, so it's a third level Phantom feature. And in case y'all can't read it, because some of the text may be small. Um, Echoes of who died have clung to you. Whenever you finish a short or long rest, you can choose one skill or tool proficiency that you lack and gain it as a ghostly presence shares its knowledge with you. You lose this proficiency when you use this feature to choose a different proficiency that you lack. So basically, you can take the skills of people that have died around you or you have killed. Ooh. So these are all the regular like skills. Like Mega Man. That's what Mega Man would do. Would take the skills of the enemy and use them. Yeah. He said Mega Man ain't killing people. He's just kind of like sending them to the Shadow Realm or wherever they go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's Nintendo. They don't kill people. Yeah, he just they just went to another realm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so if you want to really have a high dex, I'm a I'm gonna. If you're okay with it, I'm gonna pick acrobatics. Ooh. Okay. So, so now because fourth because your character is gonna be level eight through ten. Um okay. so now you need to pick something to to improve. Because we're only playing three sessions, I would recommend an ability score because feats are great, but I played a lot of games where you have a feat and you barely ever get to use it. Mm, okay. So so then oh. you pick yeah, go ahead. I have a legit question. Yeah. He hasn't even picked ability scores we and got he's already at 22. What is, his, what is his abilities right now before they even get improved? That's what I want to know. We're going to fix that. Because you know how you can uh, manually no. enter? You can yeah. manually enter all your points mm -hmm. or do he standard went, array. Sneak attack. He's going to just... Oh. <laughs> That's right. Sneak attacking with a giant axe. Um, so now you get to pick your expertise. So you get two. Keep that in mind. Um, what do you choose from? Acrobatics, athletics, deception, intimidation, nature, sleight of hand, stealth, or survival. Oh, I you like to pick survival two. Okay. and athletics. Okay. And you get to do this one more time because you are level eight. Okay. Oh, so I can pick a whole two more? or Yes, because things are based on the level you are. And since you're level eight... Um, okay. Um, so what you have left is charisma, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, or strength. All right. Wisdom. Okay. And intelligence. Yeah, because you're going to need some help. <laughs> can I get double intelligence? Can we double that up? No. no. 
<laughs> we don't work on you. So this is what you should have. I don't know how you got a six modifier, what? but now your intelligence is at 15. All right. So we're uh, going to, smart. so we're gonna, we're gonna put the kibosh on all of your things. <laughs> no, we're gonna fix it. So from the top, what do you want to be your best stat? Uh, I would like strength to be my best stat. So you get a 15 and you have plus four because of the choices you've now made. What do you want your next best stat to be? Now remember, you said you're playing a rogue, so keep that in mind. All right. Oh yeah, I need dexterity. So dex instead of charisma? Yeah, let's go dex. And then charisma? So either wisdom or constitution has to be a 10 or an eight. Your constitution just, is like your strength. I just okay. love an other modifier, plus nine. What is a, what the fuck? That's why it's a 22. Hey, plus nine. Sir, like no. It. You added that shit. No, that's hey, why. I mean. <laughs> no, that's why you blank. added. I, I didn't think it should be blank, so I just put something there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Let's see if you survive this whole three weeks. Bro, I, I am not going to lie. I was like, man, maybe we should make an orc, man. Hold <laughs> <laughs> up. No. We'll have everybody be an orc. Uh, no, that okay, explains so Zach. So I'm like, how do you, how the fuck? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! All right, okay. okay, so you're All a charlatan. Right, so you're that was your that was your yeah background. Okay, so and your proficiency is deception and nature false. So this is all stuff you picked. So now we're good. You're not gonna have a 22 dexterity. So you right now have no weapons. What, what were you gonna? Are are you just whooping people? Because I mean, Frank's the monk. You know fists. Fists are cool, but you know, I think weapons are my thing. Like, I want an axe. So you want an axe? Okay. A, oh my god, this is gonna you, be great. This is you are really, me. you are really on this axe moment. So we like, can have an axe, the, the Dwarven Lords. Do you want to dual wield them? Uh, no, because I feel like I may need my other hand for something. Uh, <laughs> for forging all those documents. There you go. <laughs> So, you know, you, just keep in mind that as you're getting this axe, <laughs> it, it has a five foot reach. Mm. Um, it is one handed, though, so you could actually have something in your other hand as Wait, a rogue. Is it, what is this axe of the Dwarvish Lords? What is that? I looked it up. I just put an axe and. Oh, where did you get it from, Warden? Like, what, what? I guess. There's an orc that Do plays to the Dwarf Gods. <laughs> I like it. But you're yeah. a rogue, so you're probably not going to get an axe. I mean, I'm yeah. trying to imagine a big orc trying to sneak up on somebody with an axe. That's the best. I just... Yo, imagine that that visual is just great, but it probably <laughs> would work out well. All right, so I guess we need something small, like a dagger. Daggers, little, you know. So you can, I, I will allow you to have two, wep two dragon tooth daggers or two mm. plus two daggers. Okay. Um... Let's do plus two daggers. I love this so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you've got two plus two daggers. Me got three weeks of this, y'all. <laughs> three <laughs> dope. Weeks. So now this is better. Oh there my go. God. I, I was agree like. With Garwar. My dagger will be named X. There we go. That's how we all <laughs> even it out. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm oh, Jesus. X is my trusty dagger. Lord have mercy. That was crazy. And so initi initiative bonus. Oh boy. Only one, only one initiative bonus. But Randar, uh, the male orc of Exandria rogue, uh, looks to be done. What care? Someone says, "What character type uh, have you not played that you've been meaning to?" I really, really, really. One day when I find a really cool campaign to do it, I'm definitely playing a bard, and I and, and I will be most annoying bard there is because <laughs> every everything he do he does is gonna be a song everything <laughs> please um, please he's gonna sing it out like period he's not even a good singer so it's gonna be <laughs> that's that's where i want to go with just a bar with 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 uh, over confidence that his singing is good and everybody just like please just don't don't don't, don't let him attack don't let him attack you know type thing so I just, yeah. I, that I might be it. my next one i want to do a rap bard 
Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. That's I the think thing. that'll be the spells next and stuff. So yeah, I think a rap bard would be so lit. It was literally what I debated doing today. Oh, Ooh. man, that's my next one for sure. You would crush that. <laughs> Tanya knows I had a beatboxing bard. Mm. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. This right here, just having this going on is, is just great. It's an overall vibe, so. I, I think I agree with the idea of having it be like an extension of yourself. I love that. But also, it's almost like pro wrestling. I'm a big wrestling fan. So I'm always thinking about yourself turned up to 11. And that's kind of what I think I try to create. So it's like, all right, if you can be the biggest, strongest, but also like intelligent, you know? So I'm always thinking like all the things that I want to be, but also all the things that I are, that I am, and then just like turning them all up, you know? So that was, that was what I was into, is just trying to create and, an exaggerated version of me. <laughs> and, uh, and that's, I, I, I was attempted to, but you know, y'all wouldn't let me be great with the dexterity, but you know, <laughs> outside of that. You said you know, want to be intelligent, bro. We got to remind I'm, 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 I'm going back, I'm going point. back. He said, he said, turn it up. I, I want to be intelligent and put negative four in his intelligence. <laughs> Make it make sense. <laughs> I'm just like I was. I was just gonna wait for it. My else. I didn't want to go op like you know all you know twenties across the board. I was like, well, let me just have one. He was thing. trying to be humble, y'all. I had to be humble so there that was I could no, surprise you with my intelligence. There there was no humble. you can't. Okay, so oh so God. learning moment. <laughs> you can't be humble. You're gonna be doing good to know the alphabet with a negative four. Okay. Each way, he trying to forge documents with a negative. Yo, somebody said I would be forging documents in crayon. <laughs> that was sweet. I can see an orc. I can see an orc forging documents in crayon. That actually tracks. Wow, oh, man. I cannot. I cannot. I, 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 I guess I didn't realize a negative four. Uh, see, I didn't realize what the scale was here like this is why you with, text you know? me and go i'm making my character <laughs> <laughs> so this is way more fun it have been like yo this document uh. is on a cocktail napkin what what, what, what are you well you see what had happened was <laughs> 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 mm. Mm. oh my god <laughs> you've built this character this is your and some of you this is your first character you've ever made um are you prepared for death are you prepared for the? I mean, I don't know what Tanya has, and I don't think she's gonna kill us. But this is also Tanya. <laughs> so who knows? She's gonna kill us. Wait, you can die in this thing? I didn't oh, know you man. could die in D and D. Oh, oh. So I oh, didn't yes. know that we could die. Wait, yeah. wait, you can kill us? I could. Seems so depressing. Tanya wouldn't kill us. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Raheem, how long have you known me? <laughs> wait, maybe she would kill us. Um, I, no. To answer not, the question, I'm not, I'm not, not prepared yet. to die. I'm not prepared for that at all. It's like that would that would break my heart. Like imagine like okay, so let's just imagine. So you're saying like we have a three week session. Like week one, you could just do something dumb and kill yourself. Like you could yeah. die right off the bat. Yeah. So you could have zero rolls, intelligence dude. and be wielding an axe, my friend. You know, like <laughs> just walk off the cliff or something. Or just, just wow. drop it on you on your on your chest or something. You're starting at level eight, so in theory, you shouldn't be that easy to kill. But if let's say if you kept that negative four intelligence modifier, <laughs> you could sleepwalk and, and walk your ass right off a cliff of 20 feet. <laughs> what happened to our arc? I don't know. Uh, wow. <laughs> Dying. I'm just gonna be oh sitting there like, God. I'm immune to sleep. <laughs> just turn back time really quickly. Like, can you <laughs> try that again, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I feel like I'm getting a free education. Like I'm learning so much about D&D lore. I'm getting to hang out with people. Like this is, this is the ultimate, like, yeah, this is what we get into it for. Like for hopes that we can be a part of a space like this. So yeah. this is dope. This is super dope. This is the oh, kind yeah. of ridiculousness that you're gonna get every Saturday this month. And if you and if Saturday. thank you all for being here. Thank yes. you all for kicking it with me. Come back next Saturday, 2 p.m. Central. We'll actually be playing DD, not just a session yes. zero and chatting. And we're gonna see what uh what happens with everybody's uh brand new level eight characters and uh going to the Forgotten Realm. You know the name Red the Beast, my fam is deep. Log off if you cast can't stand the heat. Don't taste me, bro. Turn up the radio. Yeah, yo, yo, everybody.